If you have a strong will, you can do it. Don't underestimate yourself. Every single one of us um, yang attend the briefing today, we got traditional desserts. Walnut gangjong, hotu gangjong. Mmm, be um jajongwa, jajongwa. It's pear. Which one is it? And then, Moyakwa. This is the most unique thing I've ever seen. Mmm. Some samboy. Last but not least, Mugwort in Jolly Crumble Mini Pound Cake. Mmm. It'll probably be like my last time. Jumpa dorang. Right now, I'm on my way to uh, Nutri Court, the light. Kamarin, I went to a Supreme Court to chop. Kali rupanya mesti bawa original dokumen. Alright. Cepat ni. I'm the city law Update. So I got a call from the head of embassy, and, and I will be uh, selected to interview. And let's hope for the best. Korean embassy, yes. Why? Yeah. Next Tuesday. Eighteen. Okay, on Tuesday. Oh my god. Eighteen. 18th! Alhamdulillah, ya Allah, Alhamdulillah! <laughs> Oh,
So today, we, I am going to do my medical checkup alone. It's really sad that my mom can't accompany me, but it's okay. I must get used to do things alone. So. Hello, so tomorrow I'll be going to MOE into uh, University, you know, in the small university di Korea to um, sesuai dengan Brunei, something like that. Honestly, I don't feel the excitement anymore. Tala tiba tiba na jiwang. Dengan kalap ya, kenapa nak aku makin sipit? Kenapa nak demi? Bukan meminya auto, kau tahu kah yang anu uh, wow. silky look apa uh, yang skin Korea tu? Intinya <laughs> <laughs> pengiktirafan ku lulus sudah. Ya, yeah. yeah. woi, oh my god, woi, bener wah, dua dua kah? Dua dua oh. kena iktiraf? Oh. oh my god, okay <laughs> tujuh. <laughs> Um, I have to go to Makamah again untuk notarized and apostle my um, academic documents because it must be within three months. I apostled my previous documents at two bulan sembilan sembilan. So I have to do it again. I'm here, so yeah. Chomlet. Lawa. Right. It is 4.54 So now I'm gonna tell you how I got the scholarship and you can get the same and some tips So I'm like you guys who I didn't know the scholarship exists in the first place until I finished my A-levels. At that time, most of my friends busy study scholarships and I couldn't apply government scholarships because they have limited courses and I'm not interested in any of them. So I got I have a teacher yang pernah belajar di Korea dulu. And I think that's how I got interested to study here in Korea because sebenarnya pointnya I want to study abroad without actually thinking the reality in studying abroad, yeah? Then I could type like, how to study in Korea. So, scroll, scroll, scroll. This scholarship popped up. And I could try lah. So, Brenya, I finished my A-levels in 2021 and was planning to take my degree in 2022. But the application for undergraduate degree is in September. So if you are planning to apply the scholarship for undergraduate degree, 
be prepared in September because you don't want to miss that out. Yeah, and let me mention my dearest teacher, Teacher Hayati, because she has helped me a lot with the application um, before I arrive here and even after I arrive, she helped me a lot. And actually, I have a TikTok mutual, which is Fezzy Travel. She shared her life experiences studying in Korea. So I asked her a lot of questions regarding the scholarship as well. This Chika S have two tracks. One is MC track and one is university track. And I'm not familiar with it because I use MC track. There's a total of three rounds, yeah? First round is the application period. It's about your academic credentials, citizenship, study plan, and personal statements, blah, blah, blah. If you are planning to apply, there will be a form you will need to fill in and submit to the embassy by hand. But the form at the other website, around. You can check out their website. Any updates will be on their website. So, malar check the website. Oh, and during the application period, there will be a briefing session at the embassy. So, yeah, check their website. But let me tell you one thing yang payah kun buat. Aku na faham langsung sebenarnya cemana buat, which is apostille documents. Nanti kamu akan submit apostille documents, macam um, birth certificate gitu, uh, academic certificate. How you can get your documents and your apostille, you must have two chop, chop. First chop is from notary court. It's a certified true copy being a chop metal and then the second one is from supreme court and atu baru tah apostle punya chop my mistake was i thought the first chop atu cukup sudah and i was about to submit kalau rupanya mesti ada dua chop and then if your documents are to complete law what your grades personal statements etc you'll be called to do an interview with the embassy officials okay and then the second round is the result from NIIED, National Institute of Education. Dorang nilah yang provide your scholarship. So your documents yang dari embassy itu kan kan antara dorang for them to review again and they will announce lah dorang mau terima kamu ke inda. Lepas satu, you're on your own. Do your medical checkup, documents wanted by the university, mau apostel lagi ka, and maybe interview with the university. Luckily, I don't have an uh, interview dengan uni yet. And majimak round, <laughs> the last round, is the result from your university. If no university accept you, then your scholarship automatic cancel. So that's it with GKS. But however, belum habis lagi. This is really important, especially if you're Bruneian. Actually, I don't know about this, tapi nasib my cousin yang begitu. As soon as your SLA <laughs> As soon as you got your offer letter, go to MOE or their IG to fill in an online form and then email to them untuk pengesahan atau pengiktirafan uh, kursus dan university. If you wanna work di Brunei, tapi your degree itu indah kena iktiraf. Your degree indah kena pandang. So it's just a waste of time you're doing your degree di luar negara. And lastly, ada satu lagi link Google form you will need to uh, fill in for CGL private student. Okay, now tips and reminders. <laughs> First, never be afraid to ask for help. Kalau kamu rasa kamu kan datang ke embassy, datanglah. Kalau kan tanya orang yang berpengalaman, tanyalah. You know, because... You don't have to go through it alone. Second, liat YouTube and do more research for your personal statements and study plans because details are very important. So you wanna like plan out your study schedules, your modules about the university and you apply. Third, learn some basic Korean language. Like if you the handal betul, then that's a bonus point. It will help you get when you arrive here. Fourth, jangan buat benda last minute because you don't know. It may take longer than you expect until the process is siap. So if you are asked to do this starting from today lah, do it today. Atau paling akhir pun esoknya. Jangan sampai kan abis deadline baru dah um, you buat. No, no. Be reminded that even though this is a fully funded scholarship, you might need some extra money. Especially for your settlement. 
Pasal so selagi you don't have your Korean bank account, you will not get the allowance. Ah, another tip, when you are doing your interview, jangan diam. Like, cakap saja apa saja. Just keep the conversation going and you might need some Korean knowledge as well. Lastly, the most crucial part is think wisely. Why do you want this scholarship and kenapa Korea? Because you gotta prepare mentally and physically coming here. How? How do you prepare that? Don't think about the fun part saja. Expect less from people generally and be ready that you are going to go through most things alone. If you are applying for undergraduate degree GKS 2024, I wish you all the best. I hope to see you in Ramadan next year. And that's it. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment what you want to see in my future vlogs.